Good evening, everyone. Tonight, a family's pain. In this video, they relive the day they lost their son. It was two years ago, but it is still all so fresh. That's because what happens next in that video has prompted them to sue police. Malik Grissom was shot and died at the hospital when his stepfather arrived to say goodbye. He says officers crossed the line and tased him. Channel 11's Alan Jennings sat down with the family and their attorney. He's live with the story you are seeing first on 11. Alan? Hey, Peggy. He just wanted to pray over his stepson to make his final peace with him. The Reverend Earl Baldwin Jr., who is a community activist against street violence, says in his federal lawsuit today that he now has become a victim of police brutality. In the green and white striped shirt is the Reverend Earl Baldwin Jr. grieving and in shock. I need to tell him that his family is going to be okay. I was going to do everything I could to make sure they was okay. Reverend Baldwin told me he laid his head next to his dead stepson's head while in Mercy Hospital's ER. But the video shows Reverend Baldwin being ripped away from Malik Grissom by a group of police officers. What happens next? is the driving force behind Baldwin's federal lawsuit. One officer steps back, raises his taser, then shoots Reverend Baldwin in the back. Joel Sansone told me UPMC claims Reverend Baldwin was interfering with attempts to revive his stepson. Watch the video. Not only was the child not being treated, the child was dead. You know what they did to me? They tasered me, and I fell under this boy. They had to slide him out the way to get to me, and they jumped on top of me. According to Sansone, police stopped Tori Baldwin in front of the hospital, refusing to let her see her son. <laughs> <Not the baby. laughs> oh, she God. watched the video today for the first was, time. I wanted to rub his head. I wanted to kiss him because I know that he was calling for his mom. I just wanted to say bye. Pittsburgh police tonight are refusing comment, saying it's a pending lawsuit, but they'll be required to respond in the coming days to the claims in this federal lawsuit. Malik Grissom, by the way, was an innocent victim. He was shot in the chest while trying to break up a street fight. We're on the story. We'll keep you posted. Reporting live, Alan Jennings, Channel 11 News. UPMC released this statement saying clearly this was a stressful situation and a tragic loss for this family. However, the allegations about the circumstances are inaccurate.